if you want to use your Thunderbolt with your computer, you have to launch Thunderbolt 3 Bring Up node. So, you know, on here, as you can see, uh, there is a Raspberry Pi computer on this side. So, you have to launch Bring Up on this computer. So, there is two ways. First, you can just you know, like uh, plug you know, like uh, your monitor uh, like this and uh, use your keyboard and second you can you know, like uh, remote control this Raspberry Pi PC uh, with your you know, like laptop or desktop or whatever you know like so first I'll show you, you know, like how to you know, like launch bring up on this. Uh, turbo and you know, like uh, with your keyboard and monitor that is plugged on this turbo so let's start uh, turn on so there it goes I like first issues you know like uh, Login menu, so I'll write ID, password, okay, and it is initiated. Uh, before start, you have to check like this IP address. You can see your address is uh, 192.168.0.0.0. Yeah, so you have to memorize this, you know, like uh, IP address because if you use, you know, like uh, if you launch your bring up, you know, like uh, with this monitor and this uh, keyboard, you can just, uh, you know, like uh, do not have to think about. But it's really annoying to plug this monitor and you know, like you use this keyboard to like launch bring up node on this turbo. You will, you have to just, you know, like. Uh, remote control your you know, like Raspberry Pi on your own computer so it is good to memorize this you know, like an IP address and then well, let's start just to type cross to launch robot 3 bring up And yes, like calibration on here and run. So it is ready. So it is ready to control. So after launching your bring up, I'm like let's go to your own computer. Uh, first, after you are gonna start your computer, you have to connect to the in same network that is connected to your turbo, yeah, in my case IP time and then you can just launch your you know, like, terminal and then you can you know, like start you know, like RS2 run you know, turbo 3 telehelp telehelp keyboard and let's start and you can control it with your W, A, S, D, X, S, C is just stop. So like a press board, you know, like the W, W. Uh, you can see linear velocity is increased. S, just stop. You know, like stop. And turn left, yeah, increase linear velocity. Uh, you can see that 0, 1, 2, 3, yeah, increasing. So, yes, you can control like this. So, uh, let's just you know, unplug this. Okay, and let's go. I'll control. Increase speed. Go, 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 go. Oh. 
turn that go. Yeah, you can control like this. So in this time, let's talk about how to launch Bring Up in my own computer. Yeah, not Raspberry Pi. Before start, uh, we have to you know, like remote control Raspberry Pi. So we enter SSH you know, like uh, this means we will remote control computer yeah that is yeah like id is ubuntu and this address is ter terboots yeah i ip address so we can press enter and we have to put password okay and then we can control terboots yeah raspberry pis so and then we can launch or bring up node so if I press enter and then yeah it launched so as you can see in the turbo yeah orange LEDs are blinking yeah because it is started so it is ready so we can just start to control with this teleop keyboard and then you can control your robot like before. So it is more easy to control. You know, like just you can uh, launch your bring up in this computer by remote control. And then we can control with this tele you know, teleoperation node. So let's control it. Yes. Okay, so as you can see, we don't do not have to uh, like connect monitor or keyboard. We can just control your robot in your computer, you know, like by remote control, you know, SSH command. So it is more easy to use. So in this time, we will look at about you know, like. Uh, when we control our turbo with the teleop keyboard, we will look at a uh, flowchart, you know, RQT graph in our OS. So two, you know, like uh, bring up launched and teleop keyboard, you know, like is run. We can uh, like uh, get an RQT graph and RQT, you know, like uh, refresh it. Now uh, we can see the workflow of our notes now first thing if we launch if we launch uh, bringing up these three nodes you know like uh, turns off turbo no three node uh, drift so this turbo three node is uh, like a core node and then it publishes topic you know like a dif drive controller this is motor yeah dynamics and motor so it goes date data goes on here and also, you know, like uh, this robot publishes you know, like uh, topics of the data, you know, example of battery or kind of sensor data. So, you know, like uh, the data of this flow goes to robot state publisher. And then, you know, like uh, 
if we you know, like uh, run our teleoperation node, this teleop keyboard you know, like turns on. So it goes with the CMD val topic, and if we press the button and uh, like uh, velocity goes on, data goes on turbo node, and then it goes to you know, like motor controller, and then it moves. So okay. And then uh, we can talk about you know, like uh, real data. Just to write RQT. Wait a moment. Okay. Uh, refresh. With in this you know, like uh, most important the, you know like topic is this CMD val. So we can you know, like check. They are really you know, like working, all zero point zero. But if I you know, like uh, go back, you can see you know, like this value uh, is same in here zero. If I increase angular velocity, uh, decrease angular velocity, and yeah, you can see. It moves same so okay we saw about you know like RQT graph and we look at data really you know like is it really goes to turbo okay yes we saw that on this topping monitor and it's done